prior studies have shown that cancer alone is not a decisive factor influencing the mortality rates in patients with COVID-19. However, there is scant information regarding the clinical progression, use of COVID-19 therapies, end-of-life decisions, and cause of death among cancer patients with COVID-19. Our study is a case series of hospitalized residents with cancer and COVID-19 that were admitted to a comprehensive cancer care center. My name is Dr. Raja Reddy. I am an ICU physician and an associate professor in the Department of Critical Care Medicine at the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center. I am the lead author of the article titled Clinical Characteristics and Cause of Death Among Hospitalized Residents with Cancer and COVID-19, which will appear in the renowned and esteemed journal of Mayo Clinic Proceedings. I want to acknowledge and thank the entire team of co-authors as well as all the care providers. Overall, during the study period, the mortality rate was 11.6%, which is on par with the overall U.S. mortality rate during the same period. Among the dissidents, full-scale COVID-19 delta therapies were offered to all patients irrespective of oncological treatment intent. However, most dissidents preferred comfort care rather than full ICU level of escalation at the end of life. In contrast to the belief that COVID-19 dissidents die due to their comorbidities in our study, only one of every 10 patients died of cancer-related causes. Our results suggest that COVID-19 was a cause of death in nearly 90% of the non-survivor cohort. Despite having cancer, many of them with advanced recurrent disease, all of the dissidents in our series received COVID-directed therapies. The decisions to escalate to intensive organ support such as vasopressors, invasive mechanical ventilation, and renal replacement therapies were made based on each patient preference and on the management team's recommendations. Clinicians managing patients with cancer and COVID-19 should be mindful that even though the baseline oncological disease affects the overall health of the patient, it's the severity of COVID that drives the clinical course and leads to the demise. Therefore, we believe that every cancer patient should be given the opportunity to undergo COVID-19 directed therapies Decisions to start COVID therapies, escalation or de-escalation of care should be made by the patient, the caregivers in conjunction with the oncologists, intensivists and treatment teams. Our study supports the notion that the cancer patients affected by COVID should be fully eligible to receive all COVID-directed therapies. Our findings need to be validated in larger cohorts of cancer patients with COVID-19. I thank you for your attention and I would like to invite you to read our article for further details. We hope you found this presentation from the content of our website valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you'll find access to information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about Healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.